Hi, today we are going to discuss around how to integrate Google Workspace with Zscaler as a SaaS application tenant. In Zscaler, you have API-based integration with Google Workspace, which will help you to analyze the kind of configuration available on the Google Workspace. And if there is any posture control uh, failures, that will be pop up for you, okay? Uh, we can see the detailed uh, reports uh, after integration with Google Workspace. Let's jump in and see how to do the Google Workspace integration with Zscaler. I have done the integration already, but still we can go ahead and see how to integrate it by steps. You can also leverage the help portal. Help portal have the step-by-step -step procedures to integrate the Google Workspace. You can choose the application provider either by typing the name of the application or you can select the application using the drop-down. You can choose the Google Workspace and put a name. So you can use Google Workspace as the name and you can have the options like authorize. So before authorizing, you should have these two information like a, a scope of the Google uh, or space and the SaaS tenant of Zscaler. Okay. So let's note it in a notepad. I'm just taking a notepad and copying these two information. These two informations are needed while configuring this Google or space. Just navigate to Google or space. It will be under admin.google.com. You can choose the respective uh, Google account. And you can put the passwords. Once the Google or space is logged in with its um, in its admin portal, you can go to security and you can see access and uh, data control and AP controls. And you select AP controls. There are multiple options like uh, AP control with third party Google managed services. And at the bottom you can see the delegation information like manage domain wide delegation. You can click on that and add new. So here it will ask you to enter the client ID and the scope of domains, which uh, are copied earlier from the Zscaler portal. You can just copy this client ID. Paste it and also you can use uh, the scope information here and you can click authorize. So this ID is already configured. So that's the reason you, uh, this is popping up this error like already exist. Let's see what is configured on the existing one. You can use uh, the client ID to search. Uh, yeah, this is the one. So you can edit here and you can see uh, the scope of uh, uh, areas where this client ID has authorized it and access it. So once you enter this detail, there will be option to authorize and you can authorize the, uh, click authorize and uh, once you authorized it, the row item will be listed here uh, like this. Once you've done this, you can go to uh, Zscaler portal and enter the admin user. So Google admin email ID has to be entered here. In my case, it's like uh, it is admin at itsecurity.com, right? You can save this configuration, but here already I have a Google workspace integrated, so it's not uh, uh, possible to in integrate it with the same tenant information um, 
multiple times. So you can see here, once you uh, see this detail, there will be a validate option. You can validate it. Once the validation is successful, you could see the status is active. Like I mentioned earlier, this kind of integration is predominantly for the uh, configuration checks, uh, which is nothing but SAS security posture control. When you go to the SAS security posture control, you could see the list of application which supports uh, SAS security posture controls. You can choose Google or Space, and you can see the list of configurations available uh, for the administrat administrators and emails uh, where the posture control can be enforced. The status output will be seen under analytics. You can go to analytics uh, and SAS security reports. You can choose this uh, SAS security reports and you could see the list of reports available here, application assets, uh, alerts, and security configurations, right? The poster related information will be available here. You can choose the right word space here. Google or space and IT security. And there are nine policies are available in total and five are failed and five are passed. Let's see who, what are all the things failed. Uh, require two step verification for admins. This is failed because we were not enabled the two factor authentications. set of multiple super admins so there is only one admin configures so that's what you could see this error right likewise you have a lot of um, um, controls and the results are outputs of the controls right you can bring these controls maybe you can choose the failed controls uh, whichever is failed and you can in com communicate this to the respective owners so here the high parameters there are five high are there so you can just validate whether the high risk level uh, controls are passed or failed. If there is any fail, you can reach out their respective application owners, the Google Space uh, administrators, and ask them to do the fine tunings. This will help you to um, minimize the, the list of issues happened and uh, the minimize the risk level of your application workspace. Also, you have uh, multiple complaints checks, best practices, FFICE practices. There are three controls are there as of now. Out of these three are failed. If any company which follows these standards, we need to ensure that these uh, risk levels and these um, vulnerabilities kind of foster control failures has to be um, addressed with high priority. And also you have PCI. So when you choose PCA, there are three uh, policy controls and you can look at the, the policy status and uh, you can ask the respective owners to um, fine tune these policies and to adhere with the poster controls. Like I mentioned, Google or Space integration will help you to identify the configuration issues or any best practice violations and the compliance standards.